Well, there was a brand new teacher giving an assignment to her sixth grade class. It was a pretty big assignment, so she started writing real high up on the chalkboard. Well, suddenly there was a giggle from one of the boys in class. She quickly turned around and said, What's so funny, Pat? Well, teacher, I just saw one of your garters. Get out of my classroom, she says. I don't want to see you back for three days. The teacher turns back to the chalkboard and realizes that she forgot to title the assignment. So she reaches all the way to the top of the chalkboard. Well, suddenly there's an even louder giggle from another male student. Well, she turns around and says, What's so funny, Billy? Well, miss, I just saw both your garters. Well, again, she yells, Get out of my classroom! This time, I don't want to see you for three weeks. Well, she was pretty embarrassed and frustrated, Then she turned around and dropped the eraser. So she bent over to pick it up. Well, this time there was a burst of laughter from another male student. Well, she quickly turned around to see little Johnny leaving the classroom. And where do you think you're going, she says. Well, Johnny says, well, teach, from what I just saw, I'm pretty sure my days of schooling are over. Little Johnny was in his classroom when the little girl sitting in front of him raised her hand and said, Teacher, can my mommy get pregnant? Teacher says, Well, how old's your mommy, dear? My mom's 40, she says. Oh, yes, dear, your mother could get pregnant. Little girl then says, What about my big sister? Can she get pregnant? Well, dear, how old is your sister? Little girl says, Well, my sister's 19. Oh, yes, dear. Your sister definitely could get pregnant. Little girl then says, well, What about me? Can I get pregnant? Oh, no, said the teacher. Don't worry about that. You're way too young for that. Well, then little Johnny, sitting behind her, gives her a quick tap on the shoulder. He says, See, I told you we had nothing to worry about. Little Johnny's mom was cleaning his room while he was at school. In the closet, she found a dirty magazine. It was some of the most filthy stuff she'd ever seen, like way out there. Well, a couple hours later, Johnny's dad got home, and his mom showed him the magazine. Dad looked at it, shook his head, and after a while, little Johnny's mom said, Well, there's some real nasty stuff in there. What are we going to do about it? Dad says, honestly, this is some pretty crazy material. It looks like he's really into it. I'm going to say you probably shouldn't spank him anymore. Little Johnny was in class and his teacher announced they were going to try something a little different to help everybody to get to know each other. So she said, I want you to stand up, give us the occupation of your father, spell it, and say one thing that he would give us if he was here. The first student raised their hand and the teacher says, okay, you can go first. Uh, the student says, my dad's a banker, B-A-N-K-E-R, and if he was here, he'd give us all a shiny penny. Teacher says, very nice, who wants to go next? So the next kid, Kevin, stood up and says, My dad's a baker, B-A-K-E-R. And if he was here, he'd give us all a freshly baked cookie. Very good, said the teacher. Well, little Jeff was next, and Jeff stood up and says, My father's an accountant, A-K, no, wait, wait, A-C-K, no, no, wait, now, before he could try to spell it again, the teacher cut him off and told him to sit back down and think about it for a while. When he thought he knew how to spell it, he could stand back up and try again. Little Johnny raised his hand in excitement, hoping to be called on by the teacher. Teacher called on little Johnny, and Johnny stood up. He says, my father's a bookie, B-O-O-K-I-E. And if he was here today... He'd give us all 20 to 1 odds. There is no way Jeff's going to be able to spell accountant. Little Johnny was in class and the teacher said, All right, class, we're going to play a game today. I want everybody to give me a sentence with the word perhaps in it. Claude says, All right, perhaps if we're good, the teacher won't give us homework. Teacher says, Very good, Claude. 
Mary says, the sky is very dark. Perhaps it's going to rain. Teacher says, very good, Mary. Well, then she called on little Johnny. Little Johnny says, yesterday when I got home from school, my sister and her music teacher were locked in her bedroom making all kinds of noise. Perhaps she's banging him? One day, during a lesson on proper grammar, the teacher asked for a show of hands who could use the word beautiful in a same sentence but use it twice. Well, first she called on little Susie, who responded with, My father bought my mother a beautiful dress, and she looked beautiful in it. Very good, Susie, said the teacher. Then she called on little Michael. Michael says, my mommy planned a beautiful banquet, and it turned out beautiful, he said. Excellent, Michael. Well, then the teacher called on little Johnny. Little Johnny says, well, last night at the dinner table, my sister told my father that she was knocked up. He looked at her and says, beautiful, freaking beautiful. It was the day after Halloween, and little Johnny had a bag full of candy from the night before. Before school started for the day, little Johnny was on a park bench stuffing all of his Halloween candy into his mouth. One after another, he would eat candy bars like he'd never had a meal in his life. Well, an old lady was watching from across the park and came over and says, Son, don't you know that eating all that candy's gonna rot your teeth, give you acne, and make you sick? Well, little Johnny looked up while still shoving candy bars into his mouth and says, Listen, lady, my grandfather lived to be 105 years old. Well, that's all well and good, but did he eat five candy bars in one sitting, the old lady said? Johnny says, No, but he minded his own frickin' business. Little Johnny was in class, and his teacher wrote a sentence on the board. It said, I ain't had no fun in a month. Well, she turned around and asked the class how to correct the sentence. Little Susie raised her hand and says, It should say, I haven't had no fun in a month. Well, the teacher says, that makes it better, but not quite right. Next, little Johnny raised his hand, and the teacher knew better than to call on him. But he was the only one with his hand up. All right, little Johnny, how do I correct the sentence? I ain't had no fun in a month. Well, little Johnny replied, I don't know, lady. Put on a tight skirt, go out and try to get some? Hey, folks, it's your old pal Eddie here. Which one of these Johnny jokes was your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. Or just say hi. Thanks, and we'll catch you next time.